Hi, my name is Bob Grinier and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I wanted to do a shout out here to Jeff Smathers, who is a long time uh, HHO Browns Gas uh, researcher. And he saw um, the work that I'm doing in preparation for running the uh, supernova reactor. And he had these lying around. And these are sapphire windows. These are extremely high temperature, um, very clear um, aluminium oxide glass windows. And they're chamfered. And uh, I thank him to, for sending these to me. Uh, these will enable me to uh, do a little bit of a, a chamfer on uh, one or more of these uh, little holes here and put one uh, on there somehow uh, and giving me the option to look into the reactor um, through some clear glass with or without the ND2000 filter and uh, that will be able to uh, physically protect the front of uh, the uh, endoscope camera that was purchased. I think they're held together here with some capped on tape. Uh, also, it gives me the option to uh, put them, so here's one of the reactor cores, is to, to put it in front of the reactor core, still allow it to breathe, or optionally not, but still allow it to breathe, and so that we'll be able to look inside the uh, core of the reactor from the end. And uh, I have this uh, Hero 3 uh, camera that I used for capturing the sprites in India in Suhas Rao Kar's lab and I actually have purchased a uh, more telephoto rather than wide angle lens attachment for this uh, let's see if I can find it and uh, take that off there and we'll be able to put that over uh, the front and hopefully be able to get uh, some other high definition or very fast frame rate looks down into the neck of uh, the reactor. Um, so uh, this may also allow me to use, uh, you know, uh, cameras from phones as well, uh, and they tend to be very capable. Whether I'll be able to look in through the hole uh, at the bottom here, I don't know. Uh, that's going to be a little bit more difficult, but uh, certainly it may give us the option to look uh, down the um, neck of the reactor. Anyway, there it is. I want to say again, thank you to Jeff Smathers. This is a case of when someone in the community just thinks, I've got something lying around that may really help an experiment uh, um, give better data. And he wasn't asked, he just sent it. So thank you very much, Jeff.